Democrats is Stephen Donnelly. You have 10 minutes, Deputy. Thank you. Like, I'd like to start by expressing on behalf of the Social Democrats our deepest sympathies to the people of Belgium, to the people of Brussels, to the many foreigners living there, and including the Irish people living there. Um, I was living in London, working in Transport for London when the two bombings occurred there, and uh, the effect these horrific attacks have on cities and on people cannot be overstated. So I'd like to express our deepest condolences and solidarity with the people of Belgium and the people of Brussels. Minister, I'm sorry that the Taoiseach uh, has just left, so I'll direct my comments to you on the European Council meeting. Um, the Social Democrats are very disappointed, Minister, with what has just happened at the European Council meeting when it comes to the migration crisis. And it's very clear from the statements from the European Council that the main focus has been on securing Europe's borders rather than on doing what is best for the people fleeing five years of horror and conflict in Syria. The communications minister from the European Council meeting include a focus on border guards and, of course, returning a great number of asylum seekers to Turkey. The European Council statement reads that priority will continue to be given to regaining control of our external borders. It doesn't say anything as strong and as definitive about giving priority to the rights and dignities of the many men, women and children fleeing conflict. And it is very disappointing to see that. And indeed, it was very disappointing, I listened carefully to the Taoiseach statement this morning, not to hear him give such priority to the fleeing asylum seekers, these so-called irregular migrants. So, Minister, my question is, what of the priority given to the dignity and rights of these people, of these Syrians? With regard to the joint action plan with Turkey, I'd like to ask, Minister, what, uh, what measures are being implemented to ensure that the asylum seekers being relocated, and I imagine they will be forcefully relocated if they don't want to go back to Turkey, what measures are being put in place to ensure that they are treated with dignity? Now, the European Council statement says the following. The EU reiterates that it expects Turkey to respect the highest standards when it comes to democracy, rule of law, respect of fundamental freedoms, including freedom of expression. And this statement was made in the context, obviously, of Turkey's track record in these areas. And it's very clear that words are not enough. Expecting Turkey to do the right thing by these men, women and children is not enough. The EU needs to put in place very clear safeguards and standards, including monitoring of how returned fleeing migrants are treated in Turkey. Now, Amnesty International's response is unambiguous. It decried the Joint Action Plan for Turkey as, quote, a, an historic blow to human rights, and says that Europe is turning its back on these refugees. Minister, the Amnesty response goes on as follows. Guarantees to scrupulously respect international law are incompatible with the touted return to Turkey of all irregular migrants. It goes on as follows. Turkey is not a safe country for refugees and migrants, and any return process predicated, it, predicated on it being so will be flawed, illegal, and immoral. Now, I can't see any safeguards that have been put in place for these migrants. So, it is safe to assume, I think, that the return of migrants to Turkey, of asylum seekers to Turkey, is predicated on words in the statement to the effect that the European Union expects Turkey to do right by these people, to respect international law, to respect human rights. Um, I can't see any resources being put in place to make sure that those rights are respected. And so, Minister, it seems sadly safe to conclude that the return of irregular migrants to Turkey will be flawed, illegal 
and immoral. And I would very much like to hear when you address the House, Minister, what safeguards are being put in place for these migrants? And critically, what safeguards, what measures, what resources for migrants being forcefully relocated back to Turkey with the track record that is, it has, what safeguards did our government, what safeguards did the Irish government insist are put in place? It is welcome that emergency resources are being provided to Greece to help cope with the crisis, so long, Minister, as these resources are being used to support the migrants, to support their human rights, to support their dignity. And so, Minister, I would ask again, what measures did the Irish government ask for, advocate for, at the European meeting to that effect? Because we need to play a role in ensuring the protection of the rights and dignities of the people fleeing conflict in Syria. We also obviously need to play whatever role we can as a small neutral country in addressing the underlying causes for the migration crisis in the first place. We know that nearly five million people have left their homes, have fled their homes in Syria over the last five years, and we're now entering what has come to be known as drowning season in the Mediterranean. So the situation in Syria is so bad that people feel no choice but to risk their lives and the lives of their children to try and get out of Syria, try and get out of Turkey, and try and get into the European Union. And it would appear that the European Union has just agreed to send these people who have risked their lives and their children's lives to get into the European Union back to Turkey. It is unclear how they are going to be treated once they are relocated back to Turkey. Now, providing resources to tackle people smuggling and to discourage people from attempting the journey really isn't going to have much of an impact so long as people feel the situation is so bad that they have no choice but to risk their lives and their children's lives. So we need to support peace-building efforts in Syria so that the Syrian people can return there and live there without fear and help to rebuild our country after the last five years. Now, what can Ireland do? Well, we can provide more resources directly. I know we have sent our naval vessels down and uh, we fully recognise the role that they are playing there. But we've also got to support calls for more funding to be given to the UN Commission for Human Rights, to be given to the likes of Amnesty, Oxfam and other groups who are trying to work uh, in Syria and outside Syria to support the people in Syria and the people fleeing Syria. And so, Minister, I would ask what plans the government has not only to contribute more ourselves, but also to call on others to step up. We know, for example, that the UN has been calling China out uh, on contributing, I think, less than a million euro. I could be wrong on that, but certainly a, a very small amount so far. And there has been a focus on the lack of aid from some of the Asian countries. So we can obviously play more of a role. But it feels to me, Minister, and I'll finish on this, it feels to me and it feels to the Social Democrats, based on what came out of the European Council meeting and from the Taoiseach speech today, that the Irish government is essentially okay with relocating these people to Turkey without the right safeguards in, in place. And so, can I ask again, in your summing up to the House, and maybe you provide a report to the House, is the Irish government satisfied? Are you satisfied, as Minister with responsibility for this, is the Taoiseach satisfied that returning men, women and children, to, that in returning men, women and children to Turkey, that all of the necessary supports, all of the necessary monitoring of that situation and the welfare of those people is in place. And if you're not satisfied that that is the case, what are you going to do to advocate to have those things in place? And if you are not satisfied, will you advocate at a European Union level that these men, women and children should not, in the current circumstances, be returned to Turkey? Thank you.